Hey, Mr. Albert here. We're solving um, exponential and logarithmic equations. And we're doing some practice problems. So the first one here is 5 raised to the x minus 2 equals 20. So always kind of look at where your unknown is. It's in the exponent position of an exponential. Uh, you would like to get that out where you can move it around. So we'll change it over to a logarithm. So that will look something like log base 5 of 20 equals x minus 2. Now we can get an exact answer out of this if we like. We can say log base 5 of 20. And then we can say separately from that plus 2. So maybe some parentheses would be good around that logarithm. Or maybe putting the plus 2 in front would probably even look better. But that will be equal to x. So we don't know what that number is. Um, so the only way we're going to find this log base 5 of 20 is probably to go to our calculator and use a change of base formula. So we've got an exact answer. We're going to figure out what it looks like. So the change of base formula would have us rewrite it as log of 20 over log of 5, and that'll still be plus 2 equals x, and that's still an exact answer. Let's see what the calculator says. So I'm going to round it off to four decimal places, and I get 3.8614. And as always, you could take this number, plug it in for the x up here, and see if it balances out. <clears throat> okay, the second problem over here is 2 times the natural log of x plus 3, and that's equal to the natural log of 12x. So don't mess up and try and divide these logs out because logs don't divide. Um, but one thing you can do is, and it's going to help you a lot here, is bring this 2 in as an exponent. Okay, so you may remember the rule that said r times log base a of x equals log base a of x to the r. So we can move it in as an exponent. And the reason we're going to do that is, well, you'll see in a second. That might be the better option. So if I take that in and square it, it'll be x plus 3 times x plus 3, which would be x squared plus 6x plus 9, and that'll be equal to the natural log of 12x. So look at what we have here. We have the natural log on both sides, and they both have an argument. So if those two things are equal, the highlighted arguments x squared plus 6x plus 9 must equal 12x. So we're not dividing out that natural log. We're just realizing that we're doing the same thing to both sides, so we should be able to have the same arguments. So this is a regular quadratic equation. I'll bring everything to one side. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Now factor into x minus 3 times x minus 3. And... If I solve these, they're the same. x minus 3 equals 0, so the answer is x equals 3. Um, nice answer. <clears throat> it would be good to kind of go back and, and see that uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, which is positive, and 3 times 12 is 36, which is positive. And you can put both sides in your calculator since they're both base e, um, and check it out. Make sure that they uh, do equal each other. All right.